guys. I uh, hope everybody out there is having a great uh, Sunday. Uh, this uh, I'm working on this uh, spinal correction certification right now. Um, and one thing I was studying on and reading about this weekend uh, was something that's called Wolf's Law. Okay, and I thought it was a really uh, cool subject and uh, something cool to talk about and make a video about. Okay, now what, what Wolf's Law states is that uh, any, any bone or joint placed under a type of stress will adapt to that type of stress, um, no matter what type of stress it is, okay? Uh, and that plays really, really well into um, our spine, okay, and, and how we manage it and take care of it, uh, specifically um, our cervical spine. Now, our cervical spine, when we talk about it from the front, it must be perfectly straight when we look at it. But when we look at it from the side, okay, what you'll notice behind me, uh, the the uh, little piece of artwork that I built, okay, that's looking at your spine from the side, all right? Now, from the side, our neck should have a nice 45-degree forward arcing curve, okay? Uh, the reason being at 45 degrees arc, the spinal cord has uh, the most room to move around in there. It has no tension on it, and the messages from our brain can get to everywhere they need to uh, most optimally, okay? Now, as that curve starts to reduce and reverse, from forward head posture, um, from sitting at a desk all day, texting all the time, working a tough bent over manual labor job, all kinds of things, okay? Uh, there are some effects where Wolf's Law plays in, okay? Uh, the consequences of that research shows is decreased blood flow to the brain and decreased nerve transmission coming out from the brain stem uh, and, and out the uh, nerve roots, okay? Uh, but where Wolf's Law comes into play is I explain to people like this, just about everybody that comes in now, I see a little bit of this uh, to some degree. And as your head goes forward and that, and that reduces and reverses, I want you to think about your head as a bowling ball, okay? Uh, now, when we hold our bowling ball up, all right, nice and straight, all right, uh, we'll say this is our cervical spine and here's our head where we're holding the bowling ball. We've got a nice arc, forward arcing curve, okay, just like, again, what's demonstrated behind me. All right. Now it's not that hard to hold it like this, but as that head goes forward and this starts to reduce and reverse, the bowling ball becomes a lot heavier now to hold up. Where's what part of our cervical spine is going to take the blunt force of that? The lower part, specifically C five, six, and seven. Okay, uh, with our head now a lot heavier because of physics and gravity, it being forward, and this taking a lot more uh, of that weight. This is what starts to degenerate a lot quicker, okay? This is where Wolf law come, Wolf's Law comes into play, all right? That, that's why we see a lot of degeneration when we see osteoarthritis and degenerative disc diseases in the lower cervical spine as the head goes forward. Again, the bones are adapting because of the stress that's placed on them. Now, you can stop this degenerative process a lot of times in its tracks. You can't reverse it. It's going to be degenerated to where it is, but those discs uh, can swell back up a lot, um, and you can stop that degenerative process by getting that nice arc back in there and getting your head uh, over your shoulders. Now, to the opposite end of the spectrum where it plays in is with osteoporosis, and any doctor will tell you to prevent osteoporosis, which is uh, wearing away and uh, destruction and of uh, density of the bone is weight-bearing exercises, okay? As you start to put weight on those bones in a nice, uh, healthy manner, um, your bones will adapt by strengthening up and, and staying more dense uh, to uh, hold up those loads. So our body's really, really smart. We just have to, uh, we do, we just have to put the right uh, type of stress on it and keep everything uh, aligned and structurally sound over life to prevent that degeneration, degenerative disc disease and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, if, if you're somewhere uh, on that spectrum, get into the office and see us. We get great results with people that are there in stopping that degeneration in its tracks and, and keeping it from progressing at the rate that it's at. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a great week. We